whispering in the trees. It's two cities and they're only... Street and storefronts on the street, and that's it. The next street over is residential. Why didn't we carve out some area, man? Oh, exactly. Why didn't we do something? Why you want an eminent domain Woodmark Country Club? Why don't we eminent domain some of these houses? You think about it and build up some businesses. You think about it. Kennedy Avenue is probably a, the downtown area that is, gets used the most. Yeah, Hessville didn't even want to be a part of Hammond, and now I know why. I'm going to succeed. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're going to succeed. If I don't start getting my way, I'm going to succeed. Succeed. No, succeed. I'm talking about succeed. If I don't succeed, I'll keep on sucking the little succeed. I'm talking about succeeding. Like, I understand. Like winning. Like get out. <laughs> no, out. no, that's something different. Oh. What is that, Rex? Succeed. succeed. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about succeed. Oh. I'm talking about winning. I'm telling you, while you're having this big party on Kennedy Avenue, you could get everybody together and talk about that. Well, I don't have to because I'm going to get together with Chico Hinojosa, councilman in the 6th Hester. district, right tonight, and I'm going to tell him, hey, look, let's start working on getting both sides of Kennedy Avenue into the 6th district. How about that? Let's put that to a vote. You want to you wanna do a little voting on something that will uh, actually make sense? Hey. One side of Kennedy, Kennedy Avenue, the third and the sixth is divided by the uh, center line, the yellow line on Kennedy Avenue. Yeah. And then as you get further south on Kennedy, it's the sixth and the fifth. And then portions of Kennedy Avenue are still in, are now in the fifth. Who drew all that up? Some moron. <laughs> the same guy that put the railroad tracks Across the hundred yeah. Kennedy Avenue, one hundred sixty nine. Put all the stores next to the railroad. And it was even worse before when the tracks were active in downtown Ham, and you had trains with coal and whatnot, large freight trains running right through downtown Hammond, which we great thinker, which right? we don't have anymore. <laughs> same shit. You'd go shopping, man, that, that and the same Wizzo. You'd, you'd go shopping, and you'd be sitting at a train. First, you catch a train in Hessel at Kennedy, and you go a little farther, and you catch one at Seventy Third or Sixty Fifth oh, on yeah. your way. Then you catch one on Summer Street. You get downtown, you catch it on Lafayette. I mean, come on. I went to leave Freddy's. One I night can't get rid of this train. After dinner on a Saturday night late, and there was a train going through. I went this way. I couldn't go. I went that way. I couldn't go. I, you know, I, I turned around, went back to Freddy's. No, you got no, That's just, uh, you're, and you're on vacation when you come to Freddy's. I live in the middle of this where I can't get out of Hessville. In order for me to get out of Hessville, if the tracks, and the tracks have been blocked on Grand Avenue and 173rd, on, uh, let's see, how far do you got to go? Orchard Drive, uh, Parrish Avenue, Arizona, 69th, and Kennedy. One train blocking all of those. I'm telling you, what don't, you do. Don't think it never happens where you can't get anywhere. You Tonight can't. you tell Chico, lop it all off, surround it, surround it and call it Hessville, Indiana. Established 2011. What's bail? Mayor Chico Hinanosa. What Perfect. about me? How about me? Oh, you're gonna be the you're in charge of parking. <laughs> Better yet, yeah. I, okay, I want to charge for parking. Absolutely. I think everybody should pay twenty bucks a year. Every if you got a vehicle, twenty bucks if you park on the street because I just want the cars off the street because it's dangerous and it's ugly. And our street looks so much nicer when there's no cars parked on it. Yeah, I see I it myself. I see it. My neighborhood's that way. You I, got a stinking driveway? Use it. My neighborhood. But no, McGillicuddy has got eight kids living at his house, uh, no. and they're all backed up like a train. And Uncle Joe says, Hey, don't park behind me. I got to go to work at three o'clock. So everybody's out in the street. Now you got nine cars out in the street. And the worst case scenarios are the corners of the side streets that join either 165th or 169th. And this is anywhere. This applies everywhere. If you're on Calumet or you're in, I don't care what town you're in. You can be in Merrillville. It's still the same. The major streets that intersect with the side streets, if you're parking on the side streets there, it's a problem. Well, I mean, it's dangerous. It's well, dangerous. It is. I, my, my street never had I cars can't on. see. What if, what if McGillicuddy now it's terrible. is the same McGillicuddy that lives by me on 65th, and he's got one of those SUVs or one of those large Hummer thingies. You can't even see the track. You can't see. 
No. Someone's going to get killed. That's a beast. Come on. 20 bucks then, you park. There shouldn't be any parking at all on 65th or 69th. I'm sorry. People are going to complain. They want to kill me. Fine. Start working on this stuff. And would it kill you Make to put up way. a stinking sound barrier? What? By, by the, the railroad train? tracks? Oh, by the railroad So tra- people don't have to listen to these trains go by day and night? The first one goes by at 4.30 in the morning. How long have you lived there? We moved here in 61. You can't possibly hear trains anymore. I can hear trains at my house, and I'm a half a mile away from those tracks. But I'm talking about the poor souls in the 5th District where their houses are right next door to the track or they live within a block. Of where you can feel them. Give me a break. You don't have to. What are we absolute? You guys, if I lived over there, the petition would have been 25 years ago. Or you will never get elected in my district, ever. I'll make sure that I work to get you thrown out. So whoever it is, what is it, oh, Stinker in the fifth? Yeah, I think uh, If I was in his district, if he doesn't, if he wouldn't put up a sound barrier and, and throw McDermott in there too, you don't care about me even that much as a voter in the fifth? I don't think he does. To put up a stinking sound barrier where the, where the – <laughs> Doggone. They got a brand new development over there called Parish Park with $150,000, $160,000 homes. They're within 50 feet of those railroad tracks. It's time for a barrier. I ain't buying one of these. A little sound barrier, if you will. I, I prefer the Preacher Deep Tunnel where the train just goes underground and I never even see it ever again. You still feel it. Nah, if you build a tunnel deep enough. Oh, you'd have to go pretty deep. <laughs> go to, You're oh, talking. Going to Preacher Lake Deep. You're talking some stuff rattling the cage. Yeah. No, no, no. There's tunnels all over. Come on. I, I rode a train in San Francisco called the BART system, man. Boom. San Francisco to Oakland. Under the water. Under the bay, man. Oh, it's man. under the water. I don't know if I could do Come that. Come on. We got that type of technology. And that was 30 years oh, ago. I don't know if I could do that. We got that technology. There's trains. You ever heard of a subway, man, for crying out loud? They're underground. You yeah. can't hear them. Yeah. You can't feel them. Yeah. You can't all feel safety, them. All those safety features. You can't feel them. I'm Built by you. the lowest bidder. Oh, man. You guys are killing me. And it's built by the lowest bidder.